Hi, I'm Marvin from EduBirdie and today we're going to discuss how to make a paper longer. We've all finished an essay just to find out that the word count is a few hundred words short. Oh, that sinking feeling of panic and disappointment, it's all too familiar. But don't let the panic discourage you. Several techniques exist for making your essay longer. College professors always specify the word count for every paper. But have you ever asked yourself why that is? The answer is that lecturers use these paper specifications to test students' attention to detail. Besides the word count shows the amount of work the professor expects the students to cover in the essay. But all that sounds good until you have a looming deadline. You won't have any time to conduct extra research. Besides, who wants to do any extra work anyway? With that in mind, we have gathered some expert tips to help you reach your word count goal. Before we uncover these details, it is important to highlight that increasing font sizes and decreasing page margins won't work. Lecturers now know this trick. By the way, adding filler text and changing the color to white sounds like a revolutionary idea. But professors are no fools, you know. So let's focus on the legal steps to increase your essay's word count. One, use examples. The most natural way to lengthen an essay is by using examples. Let's say your paper discusses climate change. You can provide an instance where climate change is detrimental to the environment. For example, the melting of Arctic ice poses a potent threat to polar bear populations in the region. You can notice how this sentence adds extra words while offering additional value to the paragraph. Moreover, professors often award bonus points when students provide real-life examples in academic works. 2. Use transition words or phrases. Transition words or phrases are a collection of expressions that link ideas between sentences or paragraphs. In academic writing, these transition expressions give the paper a smooth flow. So using them to extend your essay is a win either way. Some commonly used transition words and phrases include Despite all of this, this illustrates that as a matter of fact, on the other hand, with regards to this, by the same token, to put it another way, considering this, as a consequence, with this in mind, under these circumstances, and so many more. To maximize the impact of this technique, Replace one word expressions with multiple word alternatives. For example, use on the flip side instead of alternatively. Three, try reverse outlining. As the name suggests, reverse outlining means going over your text structure after writing. When you review the text, you can spot gaps that need supplementing. You can also provide extra information to parts of the essay that express an incomplete thought. 4. Go over your prompt again. Of course, you must have gone over the prompt a thousand times at this point, but doing over again won't hurt though. But with a different mindset this time. Don't think of what you should write, focus on the professor's possible interpretations of the topic. Ask yourself these questions. Did the teacher drop any hints during lectures? Am I missing something important? Is the information I provided enough? By answering these questions, you will open a new perspective to approach the paper. Five, use expert quotes. 
Quotations from experts in the field of study give your points more credibility. Besides, direct quotations portray the person's thoughts verbatim, which can be a challenge when paraphrasing. That said, don't cover your work with quotes to meet the word count. Professors know this trick. And by the way, too many quotes in an essay means that you just copied verbatim without analyzing the author's work. Most importantly, use the correct formatting style to cite the work or author. 6. Format your paragraphs. If you are a few words short of the required word count, formatting paragraphs could be the right fix. Make sure that the essay has all essential sections. Introduction, body paragraphs and conclusion. If everything is in order, you can check individual paragraphs to ensure that they contain topic sentences and supporting arguments. Otherwise, adjust the paper to include these missing parts. 7. Use more words. Yes, Grammarly will give you a tough time over this trick, but you can sacrifice clarity for word count in academic writing. Let's check out some crafty ways to make an essay larger than its initial size. Don't say cheetahs run fast. Instead, you can write, cheetahs have a very fast straight line speed. These sentences are pretty much the same in meaning, but different in length. Turn verbs into nouns. I decided is shorter than I arrived at the decision to. See the difference? You can increase your essay's word count without doing anything unethical. All you need is a little bit of attention to detail. Which of these tricks surprise you the most? Leave a comment in the comment section. I hope you found this video useful and informative. You can always reach out to edubirdie.com writing experts for assistance. If you like the video, press the thumbs up button, subscribe to our channel and check out our blog for more educational content. And remember, you can always increase your essay's word count by supplementing skinny sentences. Use the tips from this video to make your essay longer without penalties. My name is Marvin. I'll see you guys next time. I love you. Peace.